Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. In the last episode, we pretty much got everything ready for this, minus the Osgloss, Osglaw glass. And I just made that in the smeltery off camera. It is refined obsidian and refined glowstone. Uh, so I just made a bunch of that and we have three of these now. So that should be a, a ding, no? Quests? Hello? Why can I not? Oh, because I have that turned on. Quests. Where would this be? Is there a thingy for this? Apparently not. Okay, doesn't matter. So let's put this over here. We're gonna, we're gonna check if there's a quest later where we get them anyway. Uh, we need crystal teen ingots, so we need to do these. I'll just put them all in here and then we can just rearrange these like that. I'll actually take a stack of this, a stack of this, a stack of this, and a stack of that. And we can just arrange it in all the spaces that we need. Like that and like that. And I'll just click all of these in and then click all of these in. And we can just grab as many as we can. And just do that. Maybe not put things that we don't need inside. Uh, but I believe like that and like that, that's everything. We should get a stack of crystal teen ingots, uh, which are required in making the tier three, tier six seeds. So if I delete all of this, we can make the nether star, the dragon egg, the iridium, enderium, and ender amethyst. And ender amethyst is what we really need uh, for the beginning, for the first seed, so we can make more insanium uh, because I don't have enough of the uh, crystals or infusion crystals that's the word so if we go back to astro sorcery I want to show you this uh, it might look a bit overwhelming but I did a little bit of work in between episodes um, I improved the platform by quite a bit so what we have here is attuned celestial collector crystals which are connected to the altar so it's daytime and we have full starlight which is amazing so that's really cool uh, and the way you make those, it's just a crystal right here. It's an attuned celestial crystal. So I just used the 900, 100, 100 ones that we had. And you craft that up and you get a celestial collector crystal. And then you have to place this structure, uh, which you all you have if you're playing this pack, everything in here with the schematics. Uh, so that is really cool. And I put down four attunement altars so we can have four different attunements at all the at all times if we need them for attuning more crystals so we don't have to reposition them that many times I guess uh, and then I also have automated the light wells here I have a three by three and I have an automated user which is doing all of these three uh, in a three by three basically and I just have a export bus on the bottom exporting uh, aquamarine inside and then I have if I grab my yetta wrench and we switch to here. We have some uh, fluid conduits extracting the liquid starlight into an ender tank that is, that is uh, white, white, white. I also have a wireless RF transmitter giving this guy power. So we don't have to do any sort of conduiting or anything to get the power into here because it doesn't use that much anyway. So then the white one goes over here into this one and it gets extracted into the uh, portable tank over there, which is now resonant so it can hold uh i think that's 2.4 million liquid starlight and it's slowly growing which is lovely and then this guy is a gray 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 ender tank this guy goes over here to this setup where we have it down at the bottom here and it's extracting into all of these phantom faces phantom liquid faces even uh, that are connected to these containment chalices which are really cool uh, i crafted this i think uh, a couple episodes ago but these automatically give the starlight to the starlight infuser. And what I can do here, if for example, I grab some aquamarine or maybe some lenses, some of these, I won't grab all of those because I already made uh, like a bunch of the, no, actually not lenses. We need glass paints uh, that we can grab a stack. So it doesn't matter. So we can toss those in there and those in there and it's gonna put it in and craft it up. And if I don't have my magnet on me, I think it even picks up if I'm a little bit further away. Uh, there we go. Uh, but basically, there's a resonating wand on activate block with item. So it's activating this for the starlight. And then this guy is collecting everything. And I currently don't have it inputting into the system, nor do I have it automated in any sort of way. 
because we can't really phantom face this guy uh, and it's gonna it's gonna be weird if I run cables over here to the top. We could probably phantom phase the users though. And we can just say uh, we fill up everything here. And then we export into drawers the aquamarine and the glass pane and do the whole limited item filter thing. We could probably get, get away with automating this fully. Like having always a certain amount of resonating, uh, I think they're resonating gems and a certain amount of glass, glass lenses. Uh, if we have time today, we can do that, or if not, I'll just do it in between episodes and show you guys later. But I believe we should have everything, if I search for tier 6 seeds, uh, to craft this. We're missing the tier 6 crafting seed, so seed. Oh, that's a whole thing with carpenter and sewage. How does one get sewage? It only says the fluid transposer. That's from industrial foregoing. Um... Isn't sewage from... Why doesn't it show? Isn't it that from the animal thing? Animal something something? This guy? Animal sewer? Uh, isn't it this that produces sewage? So this requires us to put animals on top. Um, do we? Where do we want to set this up, actually? Uh, let's possibly go back to the desert base. I totally wasn't prepared for this. I forgot that we need the tier 6 seed. Uh, hold on. Let's see about putting this like somewhere out here. It doesn't matter, really. We're just going to test it out anyway. So we'll put you down. Uh, and we're going to grab some fences. I have like treated wood fence. That's lovely. Uh, what's your range? Just one by one. Let's get a, at least a little bit like this. Okay. Uh, do I have an... an uh, I have the bah, 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 mob imprisonment tools. Mob imprisonment tools. I, do, I have a cow. Uh, we can duplicate those as well. But w if we give you a range add-on, let's say to tier one, so that's going to go to a three by three, or even bigger, a five by five. Are you doing your thing? Uh, if we give you some power wireless, just give you one of these. Are you going to collect sewage? You are. Okay. So if I grab a cell. Do I have a power cell? I do. If we put you here. You're an output. So you have all the things. And if we do this. Do you get a whole bunch of sewage? Nice. Okay. So I'll just grab a couple of buckets. Of this. Uh, so, can I put it in here? Four, five. I think I'm going to need... Uh, let's put this sandstone away and the treated wood away. Uh, so, I think for today I need like six buckets. Maybe a bit more. So, let's just toss all of those in there and let's grab a bit more. Because this already has it. And that should be everything. Okay, I think we have plenty. So let me set up a quick little carpenter here. Uh, let's just do this together. I should have uh, the real carpenter in the recipe. Nice. And we're going to go just back here. So we can smack it on some power cables. Um, let's grab a crate or a couple. We'll pop, pop you right here with the carpenter another crate and then we grab some conduits we need some of these and some of these let's give you some power like that and we can do a whole conduit thing like that and say i think we're putting uh the output well on this side we're doing the, the, the differently so we'll just do an extract always active insert red extract red insert like that uh, and we need the sewage buckets let's grab four i believe this has a four slot okay and then the tier six seed seed tier six is 
some seeds, tier five crafting seed and insanium essence. So insanium uh, seed, we have four, let's get another six. Don't know if there's, ten, there's probably not 10 seeds, but that's fine. We might, we're probably gonna need more anyway at the in the future. So let's do like that. And then just some seeds. That's gonna suffice for 16 of these. And there we go. Nice. Can I do a little bit of a time in a bottle? Oh, that made three with the sewage. Okay, sewage. Is it using up? How much sewage do you need? You need a bucket. Okay, um, I don't know. Yeah, it, it might be that it's consuming sewage faster than I can give it, but I don't know. It seems to be working semi-okay-ish. Uh, we're making amethyst, nether star, iridium, enderium, and dragon. So that's five seeds. So we have everything we need right now, and those will craft. And if we need more, we can just come back and pick them up. Okay, back to the thing that I was actually gonna do right now, and it's craft the seeds. So we need this, and we can start it, and it's gonna tell us. Can we not start it? Oh yeah, we need the uh, tunement crystal. Um, here. Which one's the one? You are Mineralis. And we need, or we're gonna need both eventually anyway. So we just need the Ivitas. There we go. And then it's gonna show us we need another nether star block. It's gonna show us where it wants it right here. There we go. And for the dragon egg, we need another nether star block. While we wait for that one to craft, then the Iridium is going to require another star. Enderium is going to require another star. Uh, and I should probably make the Amethyst first, which is also another star. So we need one, two, three nether stars. Because I have enough for another one, and then we need to make more of the infusion crystals if we want to make more Supremium. Because Supremium... Uh, let's get like 20 more of these actually let's get 32 more of these and then we can do insanium oh I have insanium ingots here uh, so I need another probably 16 at least no I need 24 it's gonna be 96 insanium, and then we need some more insanium blocks. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're one short. Oh no, we actually have enough for that. Are you doing your thing? Oh, you need another star. Uh, of course you do. Hello, there you go. Totally forgot about that. Uh, I was doing other things, but that should be it. Uh, so let me just craft the rest of these seeds and then we can see if about setting them up. I made all of the seeds. I went back and uh, took some ender amethyst, wherever it is, over here. And I put it in the energetic infuser. Got, a, uh, I think, a two infusion crystals is what I needed. Uh, so then I got more supremium, or insanium, I should say, and crafted the rest of the seeds. So we have the enderium one now here. And I also have the iridium here. Uh, then we have the ender amethyst. And did we make any other ones that went here? I don't really think so. Uh, we have the dragon egg and the nether star, and I tried them out in garden closures. I kind of wanted to set them up over here, and I don't really find a good way of what, where we could do it, because if we put it like this, we can't give it power, because I believe, I mean, we could from the side, but if we want to place garden closures next to one another, we can't really, unless we would use phantom faces, which would complicate things a whole lot, I think. So might as well just put them somewhere else. We could get another separate compact machine because we have plenty compact machines. So we could just get one separate one and set it up like in this one. If we put, <laughs> that looks really wonky. Uh, what if we do, if we take this out, uh, what if we do the nether star essence? 
I guess. That would look interesting enough. And then we can see that that's growing in there. So what if we go over here? Let's just load it up. And hopefully we don't crash. It just will take a memento, I think. Yeah, there we go. Ah, and we crashed. Why? I hope my entire game didn't crash. I'll be back once I sorted it out. It didn't crash my entire game. It just logged me out like it does normally, I guess, when it crashes this when traveling to uh, to another compact machine, I guess. But I have everything set up here. Uh, well, mostly at least. Uh, we need more dragon egg seeds and more nether star seeds uh, so we can craft more of this stuff. And I kind of wanted to have like that many cloches for nether stars and that many cloches for dragon eggs. And if they cause too much problems, we can just turn them off. For example, the nether stars, we already have a wither spawner, so we don't necessarily need this for nether stars. But we're going to see how fast this would produce. We can also pump in probably the fluxed phyto grow, right? We can have an exporter somewhere and pump this in because <clears throat> that's going to do a 4.0 growth modifier. So that's going to grow way, way faster. Ooh, yeah, I totally want to do that. Okay, so let me get a P2P tunnel over here because we're going to need a total of like four channels for four of the storage buses and maybe one for the... Um, for the, for the bus for the exporting of um, Flux Fido Grow. And I'm gonna get that sorted out so we can export it everywhere and we should be good. So yeah, let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, everything is configured. I've even made some facades and covered everything up in the backs. So we are gonna have this side set up for uh, Awakened Draconium and this one's gonna be for Neutronium because of the, if we look for crux, these are the four that we need. We need the Neutronium Crux and the Waken Draconium Crux, which is going to require Dragon Hearts, Waken Draconium, and this is going to be just Neutronium Ingots. And Neutronium Ingots are going to be quite a bit complicated. We're going to need Neutron Fluid, which is only gotten by the Fusion Reactor. So we're going to have to set that up and uh, uh, do that entire thing. I've been watching Direwolf 20 do it, and it looks okay. It's not that complicated, but... It's all right, I guess. We're, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. But uh, how I set this up, I have an export bus over here with a mini chest exporting uh, Flux Fido Grow, and then I have conduits going down the bottom line uh, on red signal or on the red channel, and we are just inserting over there on the red, and that gets the Flux Fido Grow into the corresponding slot. Uh, I don't think there's anything else you can use in here to even more increase this, because this is already growth modifier four. Uh, and I don't know if there's anything other than than what we have right now. So I also put some Ender Amethyst, I think 27 in total, in the Energetic Infuser to get turned into the Master Infusion Crystals so we can make more seeds, or not the Master Infusion Crystals, to make the regular Infusion Crystals. So we have quite a bit here. Uh, and if we take these, uh, and let's say we do Supremium, we have 399,000 of it. Because I turned the nether stars up, uh, we we just got a bunch from the wither or from the withers. So if we do this, how much of the insanium can we get? It's going to be a bit laggy for me to craft this. So let me finish this craft. I'm crafting the fourth nether star seed, or that would be technically the fifth, but... Uh, it's going to finish soon, and then we're going to be out of Insanium Essence. So it's basically just a waiting game for getting Infusion Crystals charged up in the Energetic Infuser. And uh, I'm just waiting for more of those. I think two more will suffice, because I need four blocks. So that's 9, 18, 36 per. So two will make me 50. Well, I'm going to need three, I think, uh, total. So I'm just going to have to wait for that. But we have five Dragon Egg Seeds, uh, and I'm missing more Dragon Scales to get the sixth one. Uh, so I'm gonna need to go fight an Ender Dragon, but I'll do that in between episodes because it's things you've already seen. So I'll just do the grindy stuff off camera, but we can toss these in here now. Uh, three, four, and five. I don't really care if they grow <clears throat> simultaneously or not. Uh, it should be fine anyway, so it should be good. Okay. I'm saying should be fine and should be good too much. I'm noticing that much, <laughs> I guess. So uh, that should pump up the production of nether stars. <clears throat> and I see when I've been taking out nether stars, it's been taking them out of here as well. But you could just saw we got a third one and we have 23 dragon eggs. So that's really cool. Okay, uh, let me see what else we can do today. 
I think it's time we delve into Botania a little bit more. I set up the Runic Altar and I reset up the Endo Flames so we have constant mana production because we're gonna need to open the Gateway Portal before we can get to any sort of other mana production. Otherwise, that Endo Flames, I guess, are, are okay. They're very slow in my terms. Kekimuras are kind of the best thing. Uh, we could go for like TNT flowers uh, or stuff like that, but we'll we'll decide later. Maybe you can give me a shout out in the comment of what flower you want me to use for mana production, because I always went with for Kekimuras, and maybe we can do something different this time. So I, in here, I have things set up for making the different types of runes. So we're gonna just uh, do a little bit of a tossy tossy. One, two, three, four, five should be fine. No. Rune of mana. One. Oh, it's it's a mana pearl, not a powder. Uh, blah, blah. mana pearl. That was a derp. One, two, three, four, five, and pop. There we go. I need some living rock. Just gonna grab half a stack. That should have. That probably placed some. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Like, I love seeing automation work when you have it set up. So basically, uh, these are all the things that you need. This this is for the water runes, the fire runes, the earth runes, the air runes, and the runes of mana. So I'll be making all of these in a bigger quantity. I don't know if they get used up in recipes uh, uh, or in the, uh, the recipes for other runes. So for example, if the rune of spring uh, takes the rune of water and the rune of fire, because in default, I think it doesn't. So we'll see if they changed it so that it does uh, once we get to making these uh, these extra runes because we're going to need this Terra Steel Helmet in terms of getting the Wyvern Helmet if we want to at some point even go fight the Chaos Guardian. So basically, I'll just be sitting here making all of these runes and I'll come back once I have ev everything made. I've made all the types of runes and over here I have a recipe for the Terrestrial Agglomeration Plate which is going to allow us to make Terra Steel. So with that, we can take some sparks uh, and we'll make some more spark. I don't think they're very difficult. I also, one thing I want to mention, uh, I set up recipes for, not this terminal, infrared terminal. I set up recipes for all the mystical flowers because we have the mystical flower essence and all the, uh, all the types of petals. So we have that automated. We don't need any sort of system with Botania to do that. So we have a bunch of uh, flowers or petals in the system, I made a thousand of each one, so we're pretty good on that. Uh, so we'll add a spark here and a couple sets of sparks on top of each of these pools. And then we can take some mana stuff, mana ingot, mana pearl, and mana diamond. And you can drop them on or you can just right click one at a time like that and they drop right on. And that will make Terra Steel. And with the Terra Steel, once we make one ingot, we can make, this should be a quest as well. Uh, also, Astro Sorcery is fully complete, by the way. Uh, Batania, is there not a Terra Steel one? There isn't one. So we'll claim this and we'll claim the uh, the Terrestrial Agglomeration Plate. There's Spark Augments, Conjuration Catalyst, and the next one is Natura Pylons. And, okay, we need those. So Natura Pylon. What are you recipe? Your mana pylon with the territory steel nuggets. Okay, so I think I'm gonna need to make another one of these anyway because we need the uh, we need the nuggets or for the natura pylons, which we need two of, and then we also need them. I made three by accident. Okay, because of lag. So one and two. We can use the, the mana pylon for uh, enchanting if we need to, but the Terra Steel Nuggets, if we look at uses, are also in the Celestial Altar to make the Elven Gateway Core, so we're gonna make that next. Uh, and let's just pop over to the Astral Sorcery place, uh, and we can grab all the things that we need for the Elven Gateway Core. So it's Living Wood, uh, living wood. I made some glimmering as well. So four of those. Is it just regular living wood? Yes. One, two, three, four of that. And a lime petal block. So lime. 
Where are you line petals? There you are. One of these. And then runed marble, star metal, and resonating gems. And that should be everything, I think. Runed marble. Four. Uh, res I'll do star metal. Two. And then resonating gems. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I have the two nether star blocks for the... Right. I have this set up. Okay. Um, can I click this in and click the rest of things out now? There we go. Okay. I'm going to grab a crate. I have one here. Let's just toss this, 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 this. And that's it for what we need for the, for the seeds. So with a resonating wand, I can craft this up. Shouldn't take too long. I'm really glad we set up all of these crystals because it's starlight whenever uh, there we go the elven gateway core nice quest complete i can just zerp back to batania uh, i forgot i have travel anchors and they reach uh, all the way but blood magic because we have to path through th through thomcraft to get to our blood magic area uh, wonderful we can also collect this quest then so let's claim this and claim this okay uh and i'm gonna just temporarily uh, we have some more mana pools. Uh, one, two. Uh, and I'm going to grab a couple more sparks. You know what? Sparks, they're just gold and petals. So make me, yeah, 64 sparks. That's wonderful. Okay. So the portal for the Elven Gateway, we can see if we go here. And I need to find, is there a search bar? Uh, not mana manipulation, ender artifacts, no. Portal to the Alpine, there it is. There we go. Visualize. Uh, I need to place you like right here. I have two blocks of space between that. It doesn't matter. This is going to get moved anyway. So we need the gateway core and I need to break these two and grab some living wood and also some glimmering so we can put in regular living wood like so and then glimmering living i'll just do it like this and glimmering nice uh, and then we need mana pools with mana next to it with the natura pylons on top and we are also going to grab some spark augments dispersive i think Dominant should be fine Because those will grab and have mana in them constantly I think Or we could give one of these a dispersive one or the one that um, That gives you the, the, the um, That puts mana into all of the other pools basically uh, Not mystical items not under artifacts Basics and mechanics is it here? Uh, that's alpha mancy lexicon index yeah let's just do here sparks uh, why can i not i can't find it hold on so spark augments require pixie dust uh so uh we can just open up this loot crates while we uh oh a supremium watering can i made that at some point hello okay so we're just gonna take some cardboard boxes uh, and we're gonna move two of these mana pools over to here. Where's my other? Oh, here it is. Okay. It's weird not having my magnet here because of the Solignolia, so I don't pick up all of the uh, coal coke blocks over there. So we're gonna put sparks on top of these even though we don't need them right now, but this should turn on the portal uh, There we go. I'm gonna set these two mana pools down here So we still get mana split up in there and first thing I need to toss in my lexica botania and what we'll do is I believe you just Do no Do you sneak and Q? Yeah, there we go uh, So I get the lexica botania out because I don't know what's gonna happen with the akasic tome uh, if I toss it in, but we get the second tier Lexica Botania, which is the Elven one. Yeah, yeah, we don't care about that. 
Uh, resources of Alheim, yeah, okay. So let's just combine this with the Akasic Tome as well, just so we get it back. There we go. Uh, and we can toss in some mana steel, some mana diamonds, and some mana pearls as well. And we should just get Elementium, Pixie Dust. Oh, I also probably, I should have tossed in another mana steel. I don't know if it's gonna give me one more if I tossed in the mana steel after it finished the Dragonstone. We'll see. If not, I just wasted a mana steel. It's fine. Should be good. Did we just get for Elementium? Oh, it's just an Elementium quest. Okay. So we didn't get another Mana Steel. That's fine. You'd need to toss in two right at one after the other for it to work. And we get a Music Desk. Alrighty. Cup of coffee can go away. That can go away. Wonderful. So this will stay open so long as we have Mana in here, I believe. Uh, and we should supply it with Mana soon. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, then is the Elven Mana Spreader. Yeah, we can toss in some Living Wood as well. Just toss in this full stack and we should get some dream wood so we can upgrade our mana spreaders as well. Uh, so that should be an elven mana spreader. Uh, are you a spreader? Are you a super difficult recipe? You require an elementium pipe piece from Tinkers. And that is only casted. Okay. That's fine. We can go do that at some point. We're not going to do it right now, I think, because we're pretty much at the end of the episode. So I'm going to end it off here. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing to see new videos. Support me on Patreon if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.